do so much of is, is being the diplomat. Uh, your, your Mars is in the sign of Libra, which is the sign that uh, wants to make everything right with everybody. And I think you need to figure out what it is that you need to do and what you want. And uh, don't make it right for everybody. I'm not saying cause a war, but, you know. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Okay, thank you very much, Val Ray. Uh, next on the line is Karen Hurd. Your date of birth is January 2nd, 1965, correct? Right. Okay, do you have a particular question for Mary Michelle? Um, no, actually, I don't. Okay, but what would you like her to tell you? Um, just about maybe what's going to happen maybe this week or something like that. Okay. Um, are you, are you uh, still a student? No, I'm not. No, you're not. Um, I think you probably need to study something. Uh, you're, you're kind of someone that likes to um, find out about uh, different things or, and or travel. Do you travel a lot? Not really. No. Would you like to? All over the place. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I think um, in, now is a time to perhaps figure out, maybe start reading a little bit more and inquiring a little bit more in, in your mind, intellectually, about the places that you might like to go. And I think you'd be surprised at how they might manifest for you. Okay. Okay. All righty. Thank you very much. That was Karen. And on line four, we have Ellen. Her date of birth, November 25th, 1942. November 25th, 1942. By the way, as you're, as you're going through here, do certain astrological signs actually clash with others? For instance, I am a Cancer. My wife is a Sagittarian. Um, there's really not any aspect between those <laughs> two signs. Meaning, good, bad. We've been married 26 years. I mean, is, it, is, is there something I'm supposed to know about this? <laughs> um, let's see. She's fire. Sagittarius is fire. She's yes. probably quite interested in... in uh, making things pop around the house and uh, discussions. She <laughs> likes to heavy-duty discussions. Did she hit the nail on the head there, on Mike? Of she did, yes. Okay, good morning to Ellen. I'm sorry, uh, Ellen, you have to tell me again. November? November 25th, 1942. And you hit the nail on the head. I'm a Sagittarius, obviously, <laughs> and yes, I, I am quite a talker, and I am the one who initiates conversations in the R house. Really? <laughs> I'm a talker. Yes, you tell your husband, do this, do that. <laughs> and Well, also, I just want conversation. I, I'm, I, I like to get things resolved, and I like to, to talk. <laughs> um, specifically, um, right now, I, I've been in it, uh, as far as my career is concerned. I, would, I need direction. I'm seeking a, a lucrative career, and I've been in administration and secretarial um, employment. Right now, I'm, I'm looking for some... I'm, I'm only working part-time, and I need to really earn much more money. I know I'm capable of it. And um, I, I need to know what direction to go in. Should I stick with secretarial? There's a sales opportunity that's there. Um, I'm not quite sure where to, where to go. Uh, would the sales involve travel? No. No. Um, I, I don't mean to really hedge on this, but I think you need to uh, research it a little more. In terms of, of, of learning about what it is that you need to do, is there something educational that you could do or more reading about it or something like that? Or sales? <laughs> Uh, as far as that, because it's, um, you know, I could be a sales representative, I could, it's sales marketing, it's open-ended, I, you know, it's, you get, get at what you put in. Or should I stick with the, with what I've done in the past, which is mostly secretarial work, administrative assistance? No, I think you need to get out. You need to get going, you need to get out, you need to be in contact with more people. There needs to be more of a creative, uh, fiery energy attached to what you're doing. Um... Yeah, I think you've uh, you've stayed too long in in uh, holding back. It's I don't not... like office work at all. No, no, I don't. I feel no. like I am stifled. Right. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Quickly. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. And that was Ellen. And now on line five, we have Phyllis. And again, we are taking your calls at two four one thirteen ten. This is Phyllis. Her date of birth, January seventeenth, nineteen thirty seven. January seventeenth. Good morning. You're on the air, Phyllis. Hi. How are you? Okay. Hi. January 17th, 1937. Um, okay. You have the moon, uh, the, pla the, the uh, body of daily r uh, routines and rituals and so on, in the sign of 
Aries. So this is very much in keeping with what we're talking about today, with it being Tuesday and Mars Day and, and so on and so forth. Um, you are a good self-motivator. Do you get things going? Um, yes. Yes? Yes. Um, did you have a particular question that you wanted to ask me? Well, I'd like to know about the near future and health-wise. Health. Yeah, hope for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I ask you in what area of health? Uh, physical health. Um, I guess, you know, getting a little older and uh, this hurts, that hurts, and I procrastinate a lot. You're going through right now what is known as the second Saturn return. Uh, the first Saturn return happened in your 30s. Um, early 30s, late 29, 30. You're going through this now. Uh, what you need to, again, the first time you do it is when you become an adult. The second time you do it is when you need to adjust your life to what is going to make you happy for the latter portion of your life. So I think you need to, right now, uh, think very seriously about things that are going to make you happy for the way that your life um, unfolds in the future. Um, your health is fine. <laughs> Don't worry about your health. But I think you need to think about how you would like to change things and, um, uh, you know, what your beliefs are, what interests you, um, and ways in which you can have fun. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. Candace is on the line. Candace was born, she's an Aries, I believe, April 13th, 1961. Good morning. Do you have a particular question for Mary Michelle? Candace, are you there? Candace? I guess she uh, hung up. There. Again, if you are waiting, please, we will get to you. Mary is on the line. Good morning, Mary. Yes, it's Margaret Mary. Margaret Mary. Okay, December 17th, 1933. December 17th. Do you have a specific question to ask Mary Michelle? Uh, yes. Do you see a second marriage? A De second marriage. December. What was it again? I'm sorry. December. Your birthday? December the 17th, 1933. Okay, December the 17th, 73. Um, Is there a marriage in her future? A second like marriage. Um, well, your first marriage was probably a little unusual. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> let's see. Um, I think you'll know uh, by the end of the month. <laughs> Whether you want to do it or not, I don't ever try and tell someone what is going to happen. I think that they have a choice, right. but I think you'll know whether you want to. Okay. Do you see uh, any health reasons? Why it wouldn't occur? No, just uh, any health problems. Any health problems. Uh... No. I mean, I think whatever, uh, you, right now your health is, is, it should be pretty strong. I mean, if you are having any difficulties, it might be with your bones. Right. But um, I think it'll go, it'll go away. Hey, okay. Thank you very sure. much. Okay, Mary thank Michelle, you. I'm noticing that the majority, all of our callers have been women. Do you notice that women uh, tend to have more of an interest in astrology? In or just Vivian? Um, I think women admit to okay, wanting to know. Okay, stand by, you're next, okay? Hold uh, on. Women, women admit to their curiosity in astrology, while men might be curious and might turn to the back page to read theirs, but might not share it with the person sitting next to them. Yes, I think that's very yeah, much that's true. That's a good... All right, we're taking your phone calls at 241-1310. Vivian and Roy, we okay. have a combination here. Vivian's date of birth, I believe, was June 8th, 1921, and Roy, November 28th, 1926. I have to do one at a time. Okay, Vivian, you're on the phone. I know that. Good morning. All right, 21, 1921. June 8th. June 8th. Any particular question for Mary Michelle? Oh. Hello? Yes. Yeah, do you have a particular question? Yes, health. Health. <laughs> Whoops. Oh. Headphones, okay. Headphones, the, sorry. This, the, well, welcome to live television and radio. Okay. June 8th, 1921. Um, you might have been experiencing uh, a few uh, areas in the chest, in the, you know, uh, upper respiratory. Anyway, um, it should be getting better. Uh, I don't know. Is that what you're asking me about? Yes, it is. Okay. It should be getting better, isn't it? Hello? I hope so. <laughs> I mean, I think you should feel better already. 
talking to you right now while I do. Uh, okay. It's <laughs> worth the price of admission. Okay. Now, Roy was born November 28, 1926. Vivian, is Roy there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, good morning, Roy. Morning, how are you? Okay, any particular question for Mary Michelle? November 28th. November 28th, 1926. question is about health. Okay, health question again. Okay. Uh, let's see. Our first mail caller. Yes. <laughs> Welcome, I, Roy. I didn't call. I didn't have a dime. <laughs> I came in. Um... Well, first let me say that I think the two of you are a very harmonious uh, combination. Um, you must have great discussions together. Uh, you are together, right? Yes. Okay. Um, it's brother and sister. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, you're, you've got, it's meeting of the minds quite a bit is what uh, uh, this is about. Mercury and um, the suns work well together. Um, let's see, in terms of your health, uh, I again think that it's pretty much past. Uh, you had areas of difficulty perhaps um, uh, in the in, in the uh, throat and uh, genital area, but uh, one or the other. Anyway, it's over. So um, and you should be feeling uh, a whole lot better about. Um, yourself and and uh, uh, anyway I think it's 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 things are progressing <laughs> they're getting much better I hope so okay okay any other questions very much okay thank you uh, I believe line one is for you good morning you're on the air hello hi hi um I was calling for Martin Stone please wrong, okay wrong wrong person there let's get to this line line no, no, not at all. okay I think uh, Let's try this one. Is this Tammy? Yes. Hi, Tammy was born January 13th, 1965. It would help us out, Mike, if we could have the year first. We have okay, to look 65, it up right January, day 13. January 13th. Tammy, do you have a particular question for Mary Michelle? No particular question. Okay. General tendencies. Uh, you have the moon in Gemini. Um, so you probably don't like routine of any kind. Um, Gemini is uh, a sign that likes to, you know, have variety in life, and the moon is what gives us our daily habits. So um, you might think a lot about your daily routine, like you might think about what you eat, you might analyze it, think about it, you know, discuss it, um, how you get to and from work, or if you don't work, how you get other people, you know, if you have children and you take them here and there. There's a lot of um, thought behind how you move around. Is there a particular uh, question? No particular question. Okay. Um, what else can I say? Mars, the planet uh, that we're talking about today, is in the sign of Virgo. Uh, again, it's about working in the area of service. Um, it works well with this... Um, moon in Gemini, I mean, it's, it's will probably spur you on to want to help people, particularly in a uh, mental or psychological kind of way. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, we're at nine minutes before the hour. Again, we are doing this live on the 2nd of May, so if you saw the sign that says we're taking your questions, 241-1310, uh, if you're not listening to us now or watching us, don't call. We'll we'll do this again sometime, not too distant future. I can guarantee you. Good morning. Is this Debbie? Yes. Hi. Okay. 1957. Right. March 30th. See how much I know. Very good. And the answer is. <laughs> March 30th. Like Johnny Carson's Karnak. Um, I was just wondering about general tendencies for the rest of the year, and I have a friend that's sort of sick, and I was wondering um, if you had any idea. Um. Well, I think you're very good for the friend. You're going to get that friend motivated to get better. You have both the sun and the moon and the sign of Aries, so you definitely are someone that wants to motivate people. Also, you have a lot of Aries. You have Mercury and Venus. Um, just be around this person. Uh, your energy will, will help them get better. It's a good time for you um, energetically, so you... Um, the planet Mars is trining all those planets in, in Aries. It's in the sign of Leo right now. So you have good energy, and you can help this person. Is there something else? Um, yeah, we have a family member that's uh, made a radical change in her life, and um, 
possibly going through a divorce right now. Do you see anything there? Um, I can only say in the way that it affects you. And I think that um, you're not someone that it's going to take you lo too long to figure out how you feel about this situation. Um, you're someone that makes decisions and, and usually, you know, sticks with them. So, uh, you know, I think the best thing to do for you is to, to, to do that, to make your decision about how you feel about this situation. Um, and it's, again, it's a good time for you to be able to do that. I mean, you have energy to, to feel good about your decision. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, line three, we have Susan, 1972, October 11th. Good morning, Susan. Hi, how are you doing today? Okay, what's your question for Mary Michelle? I was wondering if I was going to luck finding a full-time job in the future, near future. <laughs> question a lot of people are asking, too. <laughs> um, uh, are you studying something now? Well, I graduated last June, and I just left a job that I had had for a few years um, a month ago. Uh-huh. Well, um, you know, any kind of research would be something that would be good for you, you would enjoy doing. Uh, you know, sometimes when one gets involved with doing work uh, in research, uh, you can do it on spec. You can come up with an idea. Um, some innovative way of, of looking at the, at the possibilities. And uh, certainly you have a philosophical bent to be able to, uh, to see things in a different light than someone else perhaps, and, or at least enter into the discussion. I think you want to discuss with someone uh, how you might do something in the area of research of what it is you think you might be interested in. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, line one, Sunny, 1939. November 28th. Good morning, Sonny. Good morning. Good morning. What's your question for Mary Michelle? I'd like to know uh, about my business and uh, my, uh, my, my business, you know, and, um, and, uh, realty. I'm sorry, your business and what? My realty. Your realty. Uh, yeah, real estate. Real estate. Um, let's see. I get a little bit of my love life. <laughs> you want it all. But you're in love with real estate, you see? So, I don't know. Um, it's a good time for you energetically to start, to start new projects. Um, the, the, the tendency with uh, Mars in Pisces is, uh, Mars is a very active sign. Pisces is a very compassionate sign. And you might sometimes have a weaker... Mars is the is the male principle, and sometimes if if a man isn't encouraged to have both sides of his energy developed, um, his intuitive um, spiritual side, which Mars and Pisces is about, he might feel a little blocked uh, in in being able to make decisions that are of an intuitive um, uh, nature. I believe we all have psychic powers, and I I think you already know. Um, what you're going to do. Okay, last phone call now. This is Rosemary. Rosemary was born 1925, November 27th. A lot of Sagittarians are here today. November 27th, 1925. Good morning, Rosemary. Good morning. Good morning. You have a particular question for Mary Michelle? I would like to find out about my health. Okay, health. Health. Um... I, you know, I think there have been issues around the throat um, and uh, also um, what is the opposite of the throat in astrology? What, what is it? Um, the reproductive system. Okay. You can, you can use the term. Okay. okay. So, uh, but I think that... Um, I think that the issues that were troubling you about this uh, came to a head last month. Um, I think in terms of, of uh, like, I, there's nothing to worry about. I would like, you know, my general condition of my health or my age, if, if I'll continue to, you know, 
at least get around or will I get worse or you have a very healthy mind um, and I think as long as you keep your mind active there won't be any problem okay we got one last caller here and this is Kathy 1953 January 29th 1953 January 29th good morning Kathy hi good morning good morning question real quick for Mary Michelle and we've got about a minute left we impulsively bought a house without considering the implications of selling our own house. And I was wondering what your feelings were in terms of whether, are we going to be in a terrible bind or will things work out? I think, uh, I think that you're going to feel like it's a bind until the end of the month. Um, but probably by the 17th of June, uh, things will get resolved in your favor. You have to have a little bit of faith. Thank you so much. Okay. okay, thank you for your call. And I tell you, uh, lines have lit up here today. I am going to invite Mary Michelle back, whether she wants to come or not. We may not let her out of the studio now, but we do want to thank you. Um, the, the, the monkeys had a song, I'm a Believer. I think they had it. <laughs> I'm did. beginning to believe in this. Uh, when it comes from somebody like you, as opposed to what you read in the newspapers, which are so general. Well, it's more personalized. Yes. So, you know, well, more than anything, I, I would like people to call up with um, questions of a philosophical nature because I like to have the discussion. So if someone would like to call at some future date and, and talk about the nature of psychology and philosophy and how all of this fits in, um, I would like that very much. Okay. Thank you very much, Mary Michelle, and also to Lori Blanchard, who neither of us have anything to do today. This was great. We do thank you for joining with us on Meet the VIPs. Have a great day. Friday morning, taking your calls on horoscopes and astrology, 241-1310, the number to call there. Good morning, Miss Mary. Good morning. How are you today, Mary? I am fine, thank you. <laughs> you are reading a book. Uh, yes. Mythic Astrology. Mythic Astrology. It's by Ariel Gutman and Kenneth Johnson. And uh, these two people have taken a lot of the myths, the Greek and, and Roman myths, and uh, made a collage of them to tell the story, some of the stories that are involved with astrological uh, meanings, and also some of the concepts and ideas of Carl Jung, uh, the psychologist.
Th this is deep stuff, <laughs> then. Deep stuff. <laughs> well, we try to make it a little light, don't we, Mike? <laughs> you succeed. <laughs> oh, thank you. Well, anyway, I, today I wanted to talk a little bit about the planet Jupiter because, um, you know, we're coming up with this, um, this holiday of Thanksgiving, which is about abundance. Um, you know, everything, lots of food, lots of family, lots of... <clears throat> it's the time when you get together with people that perhaps you might not see during the rest of the year and, and you, uh, everybody has to make peace with, with the fact that we're human and that we, you know, should try periodically to see the bright side of things. And Jupiter is someone that does that. Jupiter is the planet that has an overview, the king of the gods. He was not necessarily someone that did terribly well with personal relationships. Uh, certainly the women that he got involved with were um, only for a very short period of time and often under rather peculiar guises. You know, sometimes he was a bull, sometimes he was a horse, um, and all of this because he was trying to get out of the way of his wife, Hera, Juno, to make sure that she didn't find out about it because she was in, had a rather jealous nature. Um. <laughs> I'm just sitting here listening. <laughs> just remember that. I mean, I thought Jupiter was a place in Florida all along, you know. Well, that's, you know, I don't know exactly. Well, Jupiter actually, it's interesting because Jupiter in Florida is a very artistic place, right? They have, Burt Reynolds has his theater there. That's true, that's there's right. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of art and entertainment and so on. And Jupiter is known as the creator. He's the sign of creation. Uh, he doesn't necessarily get involved with his children, but he has a lot of them. He, he used to play around, in other words. <laughs> this this is why his wife was, you know, always looking for him. He always changed disguises. What about Jupiter? I mean, here we are. I mean, if he was, he had a lot of kids, that means something. But I'm trying to relate it now to Thanksgiving. How does it relate? Well, Thanksgiving is about, uh, it, it's during the sign always of Sagittarius. Um, and Sagittarius is the sign that is ruled by the planet Jupiter. Um, Sagittarius, as Jupiter is, uh, is uh, the sign of the philosopher. Um, it's the sign of the judge. It's the sign of uh, the law, the legal system, higher degrees of learning, science, uh, medicine. Um, people that look at medicine or science or religion or law from a kind of all-encompassing point of view. Um, you know, a judge is someone that has to be able to live with the fact that he is deciding whether this person is going to, you know, go free or go to jail. Um, and the idea is that he is impartial enough, he is not involved, there's not a relationship quality with this person, uh, so that he can be impartial and decide whether this person is going to go to jail or not. Um, I'm still missing it. You're missing the idea I'm of Thanksgiving? I'm still missing it. Okay, well, you know, you have to think about the fact that at Thanksgiving, we have to be impartial in our relationships. We have to get together with people at Thanksgiving that, you know, we make peace with people that we perhaps might not want to see during the rest of the year. Okay. Your relatives, in other words. Uh, yeah, exactly. Okay, now I got it. <laughs> By the way, Mary Michelle is taking phone calls at 241-1310. Sagittarius uh, starts, what, the 23rd of this month? 22nd? What is it? Uh, it actually, let's see, it 22nd. 22nd. The, yeah, the new moon is on the 22nd. Um, it's the new moon is actually um, unu unusual this year because it's in the final degree of Scorpio. Usually um, it will be, the new moon will be in the sign that the sun is going into. Um, and it does, the sun does move that day. It moves into the sign of Sagittarius, as does the moon. But it just so happens that the actual new moon occurs in the final degree of Scorpio. Um, so there's a certain kind of um, in-depth look that we have to take at all of these things that are going to be transpiring over Thanksgiving. Um, um, and I think it's in the air, you know, I think people are aware of the fact that we're coming up to the time of year when we have to think about what is our spiritual life about, what is our innermost feelings about. Um, Thanksgiving is more the time where you, you think about that. It's not so much about presents. Uh, it's not so much about the commercial idea of going out and giving people things, although Sagittarius does go on into the, into the month of December when people are so busy shopping for Christmas. And one of the things that Jupiter did was he gave people things. He would give them, you know, uh, if they were in a precarious position but they'd done something honorable, he'd give them life and, and you know, elevate them to gods or goddesses. Conversely, he would also sometimes hit